I've driven literally tens of thousands of miles across the Lone Star State making videos for this channel and today I'd like to share with you some of the highways that I consider to be the most scenic in Texas and also include some other things nearby that you can visit or experience starting with the western part of the state. First up is Highway 86 to 207 from Turkey to Silverton to Claude. On this drive, you'll go up the Llano Estacado and across two canyon areas, one by Mackenzie Lake and then the mighty Palo Duro Canyon. These canyons appear in stark contrast to the high plains that surround them. Things to see in this area include Palo Duro Canyon State Park, Caprock Canyon State Park, and one of my favorite small towns in Texas, Turkey. I also strongly encourage listening to George Strait on this journey. A little further away, I recommend stopping in to visit the classic Route 66 towns of McLean and Shamrock. Also, Alabates National Monument, an important source of flint hundreds of years ago. Next, we'll go down Highway 90 from Del Rio to Marathon. Nothing gets me more exciting than driving west past Del Rio on Highway 90 because I know I'm about to leave civilization behind as I enter the southwest Texas desert region. Interesting things to see along the way include Seminole Canyon and the petroglyphs there. Then the Pecos River Bridge. Be sure to take the little side road up to the overlook and rest area for the best views. The Langtree Visitors Center and Judge Roy Bean Museum should not be missed. Here we see cliffs over the Rio Grande. Then you'll come to the towns of Sanderson and Marathon, which is the gateway to Big Bend country. Be sure to regroup at the gorgeous Gage Hotel before hiking at Big Bend. Next we'll go down Highway 170 and 118 from Candelaria to Presidio to Big Bend National Park. Starting in Candelaria and then passing through Ruidosa, you'll feel like you've stepped back in time and into another country. As you continue to the east, you'll pass through some of the most spectacular desert scenery in Texas as you approach Big Bend National Park. So many things to see in this area, but I recommend visiting Fort Leeton State Park kayaking the Rio Grande and Big Bend Ranch State Park. Shafter, the former silver capital of Texas and ghost town, I recommend hiking Closed Canyon, an easily accessible slot canyon. 
the Lajitas Resort, Terlingua and the Starlight Theater, and of course, hiking multiple trails at Big Bend National Park, the greatest wilderness area in Texas. Going a bit to the north, we'll do the Davis Mountains Loop, Highway 118, 166, and 17 counterclockwise. On this road, you'll get great views of the Davis Mountains all the way around. Things to see in the area include the town of Fort Davis and National Historic Site, Davis Mountain State Park, McDonald Observatory, and the Chihuahuan Desert Research Institute. Just to the south, you can also visit the beautiful towns of Marfa and Alpine. Last but not least is the westernmost highway on this list, Highway 54 and 62 from Van Horn to Guadalupe Mountains National Park. On this road, you'll get nice views of the Sierra Diablo Mountains, followed by an absolutely stunning view of El Capitan as you approach the Guadalupe Mountains. Hike to the highest point in Texas, Guadalupe Peak, at 8751 feet above sea level. Then go up McKittrick Canyon, considered by many to be the most beautiful place in Texas. Other things to see in the area are Carlsbad Caverns, though not in Texas, and the salt flats just west of the mountain range. I also recommend going a little further west along Highway 62 to Cornudas Cafe and Waco Tanks State Park. I hope you've enjoyed a little taste of what West Texas has to offer in terms of scenic highways. Fill up that gas tank and head on out.